Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Behind me is the brand new Peugeot E3008 full electric version. Actually it's based and built on the same platform also as thermal engines. So uh, I will present you today the car because the only car that they have here, the only 3008 that they have is the electric version. So today I'm in Zurich in Switzerland at a auto show and I have some time with the car and I have the chance to present you interior, exterior, a little bit of technical data. But as soon as I get the car for a proper review, a proper test drive, I will do that probably in the next week. So stay close on the channel if you wanna see uh, those videos as well. First of all, before we start uh, talking a little bit about the exterior design, I wanna take you through the technical data and then I want to show you this beautiful car uh, and we will talk about uh, all the uh, all the things about the car so first of all the version that I have with me is the E3008 GT version that comes with 200 10 horsepower, 345 newton meters. It comes also included with a few uh, options that we will talk about. For example, the Peugeot Pixel LED light that are phenomenal. Then we have the i cockpit free D uh, digital cockpit uh, reverse camera, 360 degrees camera, and all that stuff. But more about that, we will talk a little bit later. 17.7 .7 kilowatt hour is the consumption. 2,189 kilograms has the car and it's a front wheel drive. So it's not an all wheel drive. That's something to keep in mind. Now, enough with technical data, more technical data I will give you when I will do the proper review when I have the car for more time. This is kind of a pre-production car. It's kind of the one of the first car that they build. So uh, it has a little bit of things that they still have to improve. And I saw that also in the interior on the multimedia system where I did already separate video about the multimedia. If you wanna see it, check it out on the channel. Now, talking a little bit about the exterior design, from my point of view, it looks really powerful. It's really stand out a lot. And as a size, if we look at the size of the car, I would say it's a little bit bigger than Tesla Model Y. So it's somewhere close to Tesla Model X, if not kind of the same size, maybe a little bit smaller. But in general, I love the stance of the car. As you probably know, uh, last time when I reviewed the 3008, the last version, I also tell you that French uh, cars manufacturers, they make beautiful cars and Peugeot also have some incredible design. If you look across the range of the, of the cars, they make lovely lines. The designers are just super inspired and they make super beautiful car. And this 3008 look really powerful. I mean, the front grille, the bumper, the lights, the front of the car, it's a proper like a cat. They wanna signify and uh, somehow uh, show that powerful uh, in the front and they, they managed to do that. If you look from the side, the same story, it looks really powerful and the car come with 20 inch rims and they kind of fit perfectly on the car also in the back kind of a coupe -ish look in the back there but if you look from all the way in the back here you will see how powerful the back is and the lights look really nice i really love almost everything about the car and keep in mind that all the lights are led on the exterior and they look super nice now let me start with every single element of the car and then we will go inside the car up here on the roof you have a black roof, completely black, piano black. It's a nice combination between this bluish color that they use it also on the new 408. You can see it all the way in the back there. I don't know if you can see it, but the same color. Uh, it looks really nice on the car. And the combination with this piano black that they use it down here around the wheels, not only that they protect the, the paint of the car and the doors, but also it looks nice in combination with the color down here on the downskirt, the same glossy piano black and then even here in the front you can see how nice they design and they extend this area here and also protect the edges of the of the wheels those uh, in combination with the mirrors that are in black glossy it looks really nice and also the roof from here all the roof in black look really cool on the b pillar the same glossy piano black here on the c pillar the same story and now what i like the most is the fact that here in the back, they kind of install this window from one piece. 
and it comes really interesting directly here and it's kind of blend in together with the glass from here usually here you see some some paint i mean some part of the body some metal but this time it's just glass it looks so so cool and it looks like a coupage look the roof spoiler it's also different it comes with a little bit of gray around here and then a nice design on the side you can see it's only on the side like some wings small wings here really really cool design and then you have tinted windows here on the side the same story and then you have in the middle some air intake i think you can see it from here it's kind of an air intake the air will go inside here and go outside on the down part so to improve the aerodynamic and also the handlings and the, uh, the stability at high speeds it looks really cool and also in the back here it can it kind of come like a spoiler like a little little bit of spoiler but it's also designed to be like that from the uh, body of the car directly not extra spoiler but they design it directly like that and it looks nice it looks sporty it give it something like a unique presence uh, to the car so I, I really love the car if before I like the front and the back was so so this time the back look really really sporty and nice good now uh, if we go all the way in the front here you can see that the car come with a few cameras and sensors for lane assist reading the traffic speed limit and all that safety features the mirrors in black as you saw it before led lights on the side big mirrors good visibility and it comes of course with blind spot technology down here it comes also with some lights that illuminate the floor the handles are pretty simple i was expect somehow to to integrate it in the body of the car that will be much more interesting but overall pretty simple handles uh, in terms of quality of the doors they are very similar with the previous version so in terms of quality they are quite good now on the both sides we have peugeot the new peugeot logo and then if we go from the front the front it's it's i don't know on this car i really like the front and i like also the back in terms of design and i like also the way they design the lights the lightning look gorgeous the bumper the front the presence the way they integrate the grill here with the color of the car you can see uh, the color of the car and then you have this combination of piano black 3008 we have these uh, great led lights with the turning signals in signature and also they transform in daytime running light on the down part we don't have air intakes but the, they design it so simple that the air will flow around the car some piano black also here in this area sensors here for parking and for all that safety features and again on the down part here we have some grill that allow the air to go inside here to cool down different part uh, and battery in general uh, but when it's cold they will stay closed when it's hot they will open to allow the air to go inside there and here we have the rudder for adaptive cruise control and all that safety features and overall a little bit of gray and a little bit higher look how nice they integrate inside the grill this Peugeot logo like a three-dimensional uh, design there it looks so so super nice I really like the front this is it those are the pixel lights kind of the latest technology when it comes to the lights on Peugeot and they are really really uh, clear it looks quite nice now guys uh, the rims let's talk about the rims the car come with 20 inch rims and also the rims they are aerodynamic so starting from Peugeot 408 they start to bring those designs on the rims and from my point of view they look really nice and also they are very useful because they help the air to flow around the car it comes with ventilated brake this on the front and brake calipers normal and on the rear if i'm not wrong the same ventilated brake discs yes look at there here is the charging port on the driver's side so here you can charge the car dc ac pretty simple also the quality here it's quite good and i think i show you yeah let me go in the back I almost forget to show you the lights the lights on the back are one of my favorite piece of the car because if you look closely they look like a three-dimensional way it's like a crystal it looks really really nice then you have Peugeot on the back with some glossy black and then look at them what do you think about the lights really really nice and then on the back here you have E3008 here is the handle to open the trunk LED lights on the number plate the reverse camera here you have the um, 
the reverse lights on the downboard and also the fog lamps. So that's something to keep in mind. Then the sensors right here and then again some black glossy piano black plastic here and some gray in this area. So overall this is the exterior. I try to do it as fast as I can because I don't have too much time but I hope in this meanwhile I can manage to show you everything. Let me show you the under the hood what it is here and usually electric cars have some space here in this area but this E3008 doesn't have it because it's built on the uh, platform that's used also the thermal engines in general it's just uh, pretty much it this is all here it's just electronic parts so it's normal it's not built on a fully electric platform so it's uh, as expected so those are the lights the the daytime running lights really nice they look nice man going in the trunk and I already take out that protection for the trunk because you can see a little bit better the trunk automatic lift gate in the trunk so you can see the trunk is open automatically I think someone saved the position here so what you have to do in order to save it up you have to press it for a few seconds and then next time it will save the position on the upper side and also up here you have the triangle you have a huge entrance in the car actually it's it's really big the entrance it's huge so you can fit in here a lot of items without any problem even if you have two three kids you will have a lot of space for going in holidays now at the entrance you have some plastic here pretty simple then you have this floor that you can adjust it you can see right now are like almost 10 centimeters here but if you take it out and put it a little bit higher you can do that with one hand and then you have a flat floor a completely flat floor this is super useful some stock material left and right this is also nice and then you have a 12 volt port here just like that hooks in the corners and of course you can take this out uh, as you want but the great part is that we have some uh, stoppers here I should say plastic stoppers where you can uh, pull up the floor and it will stay uh, just like that fixed in this position and then down there you have a lot of space to add different items so overall pretty spacious and I think you can also add an extra um, I should say a spare tire down there I think it has enough space in general this is the trunk also the great part is that you can actually uh, leave down the middle part let me show you and then if you want to go to ski or actually carry long items you can carry long items and have two passengers in the same time in the back there the only thing is that if you want to uh, pull down the seats you want to stretch up a little bit in this area just press it and push it down there here the same story just like that and let me show you how it looks it's almost a flat floor but it's crazy spacious from the point of view of space here I don't have anything to complain anyway it's a big car it's quite quite big but uh, it is spacious and it's practical so from this point of view nothing to complain now let me close this let's go on the side I try to do it as fast as I can because then will come a lot of people and we will not be able to do that I already adjust the seats in my driving position at the entrance here in terms of quality in the back on the upper side here in this area we have some plastic but nice trim then we have some stock material in this area textile material uh, quite nice and white I like it the way it look handle we have the button for the windows here and also if you wonder how much you can fold down the window in the back it's almost like it still stay here like four or five centimeters um, then here we have leather here we have leather in this area here down some plastic this is the speaker some storage space the entrance is relatively good I will go inside and I will show you the space also it comes with this glass roof I think it's optional and it looks pretty nice you can also open it up and this is the space in the back the car come with leather seats and the quality of the seats as in almost any Peugeot car they are great I'm a big fan of the seats from Peugeot and you can see in the middle they add those little holes and some extra foam here over it and the quality it's great ease of fix you can install two child seats here in the back you have also this armrest with leather two cup holders here 
super nice. I mean, in terms of quality, it's very good. Behind the front seats, you have soft material, leather here is no plastic, I like that. Some storage space, let me go inside. You have also a hook here, you have a handle, you have some LEDs. In terms of quality on the roof, from one to 10, I will give it an eight, maybe 8.5. It's quite nice, close the door. Oh, the door sounds really nice. And if you look at the visibility outside, it's just good. It's very good. Uh, but here you have a small window and the space, I'm 173. I have like four fingers over my head and this is in my driving position. And I have like, this is the space here on my, on my knees. I can stretch a little bit the legs down there. It's relatively fine. It's not a huge space, but for me, it's, it's super okay. Now in the middle here, you have some vans. You can adjust them. Then you have heated seats on the rear. That's great. And then down there, I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of tight place to show you, but you have two USB-C and you have a 12 volt port and you have some storage space down there. So I try to show you as best as I can. I hope you can see it. And if I go in the middle, because you don't have any transmission tunnel there, this is the good part. You can stay with your legs like that. This is the space on my knees. And you can stay also with your legs somehow together. The space up here, it's also four fingers. Stretch my hand completely. So in terms of side space, it's relatively good. Now, we will go in the front and we will talk a little bit about the dashboard about the multimedia system and yeah anyway let's go in the front guys so in the front here we have a big window from one piece the visibility still stay as the previous version very good then you have a speaker up here we have another speaker down here a very nice interesting trim here it's kind of a plastic trim but with interesting design that continuing also on the dashboard and come across in the back of the dashboard that's also really interesting design then the same uh, textile fabric material some chrome design in this area the handle then you have the buttons for windows uh, electric adjustable mirrors also you can fold the mirrors lock the car unlock the car then you have leather in this area i like that that is soft and nice leather here down here you have some plastic some storage space and i like that inside here in the front we have stuff material so it feels really good quality at the entrance on a plate you have peugeot logo aluminium pedals on this gt version then you have electric adjustable seats so from here you can adjust the seats in every position you want and if i'm not wrong this button is for the massage on your seat so you can activate yes right look at there on the screen you, you can activate the massage and the settings of the seats from here so from here you can adjust the seats you have two position to save the seats electrically and the entrance in the car you can see it also from this angle look really nice and now that we have that new uh, screen right here it looks really interesting it looks new it looks different than what peugeot uses with and if we look from this angle you can see the glass roof and you can see those seats as you probably know if you watch my previous video with peugeot cars i'm a big fan of those uh, seats i think they look great and they are crazy crazy comfortable i had a few weeks some peugeot cars at for tests and they are phenomenal and i love this new design of those seats with these kind of little uh, pillows here I, I should call it with some uh, foam inside they are super nice and also they look great anyway going inside the car or actually here you have some storage space by the way here you have also the button to open the trunk and then you have the alarm i think it's here that you can turn it on and off again textile material around here and very nice integrated are the vents look at the vents the air vents here with some piano black in this area the quality is great and then you have some gray mat around here very nice integration i love the way it looks and if you look from this angle you will see how nice round they designed this dashboard oh let's go inside now once you go inside, you will notice that this is the new screen, the new multimedia system, that it's quite rounded and you have a perfect visibility from this angle. If previously uh, many people complain about you have a screen here that was a little bit lower before until here I guess and now it's a little bit higher so in this way Peugeot tried to uh, take out that worry that people yeah it's the steering wheel but you can adjust the steering wheel of course manually on this version up down left right and if you adjust it all the way down you will be able to have a great visibility from this area 
now it's not all the way down it goes even more down but i just want to make a point here so from the point of view of visibility i love the way they design it i love the way that it's curved and you have perfect visibility also here in the multimedia but also on the cockpit and the fact that they are kind of together here so it's not this difference uh, of placement the peripheral view it's right here you're driving you look most of the time here just like that and then you need information from cockpit it's just like that and you have it here so fast you don't have to go down or up or stuff like that it's just perfectly placement from my point of view and another cool stuff is the fact that now they moved all those shortcut buttons right here so if you want to go to home you just press this home button you want to go to media you press the media button and get you directly to the media and so on climatic system even application drawer it's moved here and settings and date and time and everything you have it here this is great now from the point of view of visibility around the windows is just perfect good visibility in the mirrors quite big mirrors around the window great visibility check this out really really good visibility also in the back there a little bit of blind spot in the corners now look at the seats leather seats one more time in the back now here in the middle, you have this leather, also soft material, textile material in this area. Also, again, some leather here and then all the way down some plastic. Now here, if you open this up, you have some storage space here. You can take it out and you have a huge storage space with an LED light down there. Actually, it's relatively big. I can put almost all the hand there. Check this out. I put my hand included uh, in this area, so it's big. I like that. What I like about the car is the fact that here you have a place for your phone inside here and I like that very much and I'm not sure if this place it's wireless charging let me check that if I put my phone I have the 14 Pro in this area it will charge mm, probably not not charging but down here check this out check this you just open this like that how cool is that and you have two USB ports there and then down here you have a big space again to put different items plus a 12 volt port in that area i think you can see it great man i mean it's so spacious it's so interesting the way they design it two cup holders here it's so unique i love unique things on the car and i love the way they design this area here with the buttons with textile material and then you have this uh shortcut button for uh you have the maximum climatic system turn it off climatic system you have also here defrosting button recirculation and stuff like that and i like that i like the fact that you have physical buttons still here from here you change different driving modes and i like very much this little stalk uh, button it looks nice it comes with three different driving modes sport normal and eco mode it's just like that then you have the uh, hazard light then you have a wheel here for multimedia and then you have electronic handbrake this is so easy so cool then you have the glow box here that's usually it's pretty big this is the glow box it's okay and you have also an led light down there quite nice and also quite nice it's also this textile material around here and the way they the array and they design this look at the look at the screen how nice they they integrate it here and look at the the part in the back of the screen it's really cool and then you have the vents there up here you have soft material everywhere and then you have another speaker in the back of the screen up here you have a mirror i like the fact that the mirror have these tiny edges and they are pretty nice great visibility in the back there so you can see in the back quite quite good visibility is good up here i love the fact that you have a glassy support now not many days these, these days not many cars these days have that so this is super useful then you have of course the led lights up here and then you have the controllers to open the the glass roof so from here you can open the glass roof and you can close also this curtain so you can make it dark completely or you can open this glass roof from here electrically and this is the way you open it up just until here just like that but it's quite quite nice quite uh, cool and also you have this protection here and then if you want to close it you just press it like that and it closes automatically um, also up here you have this solar protection and i like the fact that we have led lights on the vanity mirror then you have the microphone the handle and even on the eight pillar the quality is good i can't wait to drive the car to see how it's on the road then 
What I find interesting is the fact that they moved this shift by wire transmission. I'm happy that they use it. They move it here in the front. How interesting is that? So if you want to change the different driving modes, you have to go here, you go in drive, you go in reverse, just from here. And then it's close to the start engine button. Really interesting, right? Then we have the steering wheel. That's a little bit different. It has the same size. I love the size. I love the fact that they still keep the size, but now they, it is a little bit smaller here and a little bit wider on the down port and it looks a little bit different. The grip is phenomenal. The size is it's great. You have super grip and you have these little holes. The quality is super good but the stalks are different. We have much better, much more high class quality premium stalks with gray color on the side. The way they look, it's just phenomenal. I love it. It's just a piano black. It looks really premium, really expensive. Behind here, we have some pedals. So from those pedals, I don't know if you see them, we have some pedals here. From here, you change the regenerative brake, if I remember well. And then here we have Piano black with some buttons. They are physical buttons from where you can adjust and change different settings from autopilot. And also those have a different design than the previous version. And also on the right side, the same story, really different design here. Piano black and the buttons, uh, even though they look like they are like touch sensitive, they are not. There are physical buttons here and controllers for the voice command and other functions. And then really interesting the way they designed this here, this part with Peugeot. It's, it, it looks nice. Down here you have the GT logo with piano black. It looks cool. I mean the steering wheel, I was always a fan of the steering wheel on Peugeot. It's so small and it gives you the impression that you drive the car very, very easy. Now, going forward to the fun part, in order to change different views on the cockpit, the cockpit resolution and brightness, it's great. Nothing to say about that. Also, the colors are phenomenal from my point of view. Now, if you want to change the view, you have a button here behind this talk and you change different views. You go toggle to different views. Like if you want to see, uh, here is the graphic with what happened with the energy and the battery, have information about the range, the percentage, uh, how many kilometers have the car, you can change to thermal comfort. You can change in many ways, so you can see a few views here, uh, depending on what you want to see. Um, it's not a 3D uh, cockpit, I should say, it's just the eye cockpit, but it's not a three-dimensional one, but it's really, really good, and this is a new one. So from here, you can kind of, yeah, probably see different views, but uh, you cannot customize it in super many ways as you can do on other cars, but it's, it's still uh, an improvement from my point of view. Here in the middle, you have the home button and then you have the car button. Those are shortcuts. That means when you press those, the car button, for example, it gets you to all the safety features of the car. So for example, let me show you, just press it once and you get here assistance system, lane keeping assist, traction control, excessive, excessive speed warning, traffic sign recognition, driver alert and all that stuff. You can access it very simple from there and you can also activate and deactivate them very simple from here. You also find all the shortcuts in this area right here. So if you go down here, you find all the shortcuts, like this is the home button. You press the home button, you get directly to the home screen, then you have the media button. As I showed you before, you have the climatic system. If you go to climatic system, you can adjust from here because the car comes with ventilated seats and also heated seats. This is great. It comes also with a uh, heated steering wheel and you can turn it on and off from down here. This is also great, the fact that it comes with ventilated seats and heated seats, something that um, Tesla Model Y, for example, doesn't have it for the moment, maybe in the future on the next version. Then also on the climatic system, you can adjust different settings. You can choose where the air to go. You can choose the temperature, the fan speed and stuff like that. So here you find all the settings on the, even, even though the car come with a filter that filtrate the air inside the cabin that purify the air. So that's also important. And also you have precondition. So you can precondition the, the cabin before you start driving. This is a super useful, useful stuff, at least in the winter or in the super summer, I should say. Then you have the navigation. And what I notice is that the screen, it's much more reactive and it feels much better when you touch it. Here you have also the charging station. You find the charging station around you. So you can see them on the map. So you can choose 
one charging, for example, here. This is a pre-production model, so even the even the screen and the multimedia is in pre-production, so uh, it has some lag sometimes, but they will improve it until the car will come in production. So that's something to keep in mind. But what I notice, even in navigation, it's smooth, it's nice, it feels great when you touch the screen, it has a nice quality added to it, a premium quality. So this is, this is quite important and also it's connected to the battery. It shows you the same as on Tesla, the traffic, it shows you with how much battery you will arrive there and kilometers and a lot, a lot of information. So the navigation, it's great. The car, it's still, still improving over the years. And I have to say that it's, it's really good. Now down here, you have the phone, of course. And then you have the mirror screen. You can connect your uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto through wireless, but also with an USB cable. This is great, great news, I should say. Then you have also the temperature here. And then you have the settings. If you go to the settings, you can see here you have all the settings, customization, profile settings, and stuff like that. So you can add your profile, you can save your things, and you have it here. You have customization, you can customize the cockpit. The great part, you can customize the cockpit. If you go here, customize the cockpit, you can choose through five views. Look at this. You have the view with the navigation there. So you can see the navigation right there in the front. Then you have the third view with the power. And then you have here with climatic system and then five, uh, you don't have anything. So you have to add here yourself, uh, whatever you want. So you can kind of customize. My favorite is the navigation. And now you can see a full map there, super nice. And the same way you can customize that, you can customize also the um, let me go back here to settings. You can customize also the, um, the multimedia system, multimedia screen. So here, no, let me go back. Just like that. Where is this display? Customize that uh, and then this one. Customize the touch screen. And here you can add the same story, the same different, no. Oh, I don't know why, there's a little bit of lag maybe. Why is not? Why is not working? Yeah, I told you this is kind of a pre-production model. So it's kind of normal on all cars. It's kind of the same. I test so many cars. So it sometimes has this, uh, this lag, but yeah, keep in mind, you, can, you, will, you will be able to customize it. Then if we go forward, we have the application drawer. This is the great part. You can just go here, press the application drawer. You have all the application here. Like from here, you have all the safety features on the others. Uh, and from here you can adjust and uh, turn on and off all the safety features. Very simple, you have the shortcuts, you have all that stuff. Then if you go also in application drawer, you have the climatic system, you saw it before. You have the energy that shows you all the information about the car and what happened with the energy and the consumption and all kind of that. Um, it's kind of the same view as on the previous software. And here it has a little bit of lag. Probably I will need the key in order to work, probably that way. Uh, then you have the media, the mirror screen, navigation, Peugeot, phone, sa seats options that you saw it before. It comes with massage on the seat, ventilated seats, heated seat. Then on the customization, you can also customize the interior colors. So you can choose from here which color you want. You can choose green and you can see it has an ambient light in these areas here on the upper side. And then you have also on the down part. So it looks really interesting. And you have a few colors here to choose from. So you can choose from here, whichever color you would like to see. Now, let me go forward to application drawer and let me show you the last one was the settings, I guess. Um, what I'm surprised to see that it's not here and probably they will add it in the future. Here you have also exterior animation, interior animation, is the games because I see on the new Peugeot E208 and E2008, it has the games inside the software and probably because the car is super new, they didn't have time to, to play with the multimedia. It's still in work for sure. And I think we will see that also on the final car. Then we have the date, time, help settings here. We have also media and you saw it before, you can also customize those. You can play with them if you want to take them from here, for example, and move them around. I think you can do that. 
yeah and then you can just play around with them anyway in general this is it guys i mean from my point of view it's an improvement forward from the previous versions i mean the interior it's same futuristic and orientated to the driver it looks like you are in a cockpit in an air airplane cockpit it looks really nice everything it's place really good and i like it and i think from now on I don't think I will see so many people complaining about the visibility in the cockpit and on the screen in the Peugeot cars and this is a good thing. So I try my best to present you the car with so many people around and really fast because I don't have too much time. I have to say I love the exterior design, I love what they did with the new cockpit with the new screen, I think it looks great, I think it's a great car to take into consideration if you are on the market for an electric car and the way it looks it looks really beautiful so my rating for it from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. um, i think it's okay i think it's a great car so guys i hope you enjoy it if you want to see the test drive and a proper review as soon as i get the car i will do it so stay close also thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video don't forget to like share subscribe thank you again stay safe and i see you soon in the next one bye guys